My name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And I have been watching the Ocean Goat for a while now. I have been observing his every move. And and, and to be fair, he, he hasn't he hasn't really well moved, that is. He's just sitting there, biding his time. But what's he waiting for? Why doesn't he move? And where did he come from? Well, hopefully in today's episode we'll find out a little bit more. So, follow me up the mountain and we shall go on a journey of discovery. So, if you're new here, welcome. In today's episode we're gonna delve into some of the mysteries of this world. And one in particular. The mystery of the animals on the cliffside. And as I said, if you're new here, let me catch you up a bit. At first, we discovered an ocean goat. Very unassuming, not that dangerous. It looks like, but could be, could be, we don't know, but probably not dangerous. And not too soon after discovering the ocean goat, we found this guy. His name is Grebo and he's just living here on the cliffside. And after Grebo, we found ourselves a horse. And after the horse, there's two pigs. There's never-ending animals on this cliffside. And what are they doing there? And how do they get there? And to discover more about these animals, I once headed out on a journey to spy on some animals. And I found a cat leading me into a cave. And once in the cave, the cat disappeared. But I feel there's more to discover in this cave. So in today's episode, we are going back. And I want answers. So, let's pack a bag and head out there. Something quite unfortunate about this cave is that it's 4,000 blocks away. That is a 4 kilometer flight. And it takes a little bit to get there. So, I'll see you there. This is the village which I found the cave. And the cave is right there. All right, let's go and have a little bit of an exploration. Last time we went this way. Okay, so I followed the cat. He went down this way and came up here. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he didn't die. <laughs> yep, torches is good. Last time the cat went... Did he go this way? No? I don't think he did. Anyways, there's nothing here. Oh, that's right! That's right! That's the way he went. He went this way. And then he went up here. After up here, he went down here. And then I lost him here. This is just the way back. So... I don't know. What does he want me to find? What's this, for example? What's this? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I won't be deterred that easily. Stupid cat. Let's see. <laughs> Falling. We've gone that way. We've gone this way. Well, let's continue moving forward then. And maybe this way? Let's place torches as we go because this is a little bit dark and dangerous. Yeah, a little bit dark and dangerous. Just what I said. Where's my sword? There's my sword. Come on. That's the sword. Let's light this place up. It's a lot of stuff up here now. Well, this looks like something, but I don't think it is. No? Oh, well, I don't know. Where should we go? There's a lot of caves here. There's nothing here. Have we been everywhere now? I refuse to believe that there is nothing here. I absolutely refuse it. There's gotta be something. Alright, so I've been walking around these caves for a while now and can't seem to find anything. Just, I mean, there's dead ends everywhere. Everywhere I look, there's a dead end. It's almost like there's nothing here. There has to be something like, is there a pressure plate or anything? Like a button on a wall or something? As it turns out, yes, there is. Look at this boy. Boys and girls, we've found a button. 
And once we pressed it, the road became apparent. Well, I guess we're onto something. And walking through the door, we found a staircase, which led to an intersection, and I decided to go to the right. Nothing, huh? Whoa! Jesus. It's a dangerous place, this. It was not the right way. Taking the road to the left, I found something that looked like an obstacle course of some kind. And I think we're onto something. Parkour skills? Do we have them? So I'm guessing bounce on that thing. We did Whoa. not. Nope. Nope, 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 not like that. Well, let's try that again. Jump, 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 jump. So far, so good. Jump, jump. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Jump, 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 jump. We got it. We've got it. Well, there's something here. So we're gonna push forward. And push forward we did, and I quickly realized that this must be a maze. This is a maze. Oh lord. And I immediately got lost. Well, might be stuck here for a while then. Heard stick to the right side. Stick to the right side. I don't think that's gonna help here. Let's find our way back. Okay, so stick to the right. And so I wandered the maze. Not knowing where to go, and not knowing where I've been. But, sometimes, with enough attempts, even the blind will find the way. Whoa! I have found a hole. Should we go down? I think we should. And down the hole I went. Whoa! What is this place? It's a room with a portal and a chest and inside the chest a note what even is that what that's some strange symbols you know what i'm gonna keep that and that might give us a clue after finding the note i got scared by some noises i hear some scary noises here as well that's not fun. And being scared, the only way out was the portal. Guess we can go through this portal. Hey. <laughs> hey, wait, so... I'm back home? That's a weird portal. I guess that answers the question of... How? Kind of. I mean, it raises more questions than it answers, really. What? Like, are there more portals like that? Is that, is that, is that the only one? That is strange. Okay, so I guess successful expedition. But it kind of raises more questions than it answers, really. Like, what? what is that portal? And... What is this note? What's that? I mean, there's a lot of things we need to think about now. This is getting stranger and stranger. I'm gonna put that note somewhere safe. Alright, I got myself an item frame. I'm gonna hang it up here by the bed. And we can think about this note for a little while. Let's see if we can find some answers. Yeah. Anyways, that expedition was, well, weird, but I got more things I would like to do. Let's get productive here, shall we? There is something I would like to get done in this episode. I need space. Yeah. So, I want to cover some of this. I don't know if I'll cover all of it today, but I will start to cover this up. Because, well, we're gonna need space if we want to build more here. We're starting to run low on that. So what I'm thinking is this. I want a kind of a sewage tunnel going through here. That we can enter to go into these caves. I might do like a, you know, a cave roof here first and then cover that up. 
Because I think that might be easiest to get the shape I want inside of there. Are you alright, dude? You shouldn't be out in the sunlight. You'll get a sunburn. That's what I said, you'll get a sunburn! <laughs> Stupid zombies. Never listen to me, huh? We want to be able to get in here. The sewage tunnel here, or like, I don't know, some kind of tunnel. I think that would look really cool as a way to get in there. What to do with the water? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Besides, I think it would be cool if this tunnel here also connected in to this underground section. That would look really cool. I guess let's get to work on that. So, it's been a couple of hours now, and uh, I'm ready to show some progress. Look at this. It's getting there. We only got this part left, which is a part I'm dreading, because that's a lot of... That's a lot of area right there. But I'm really pleased with how this is coming along so far. Let me show you. As you can see inside here, this is the tunnel. And, man, I, I think it's so cool. I am really happy that I decided to do this project because I was a bit hesitant about this whole terraforming project and how to do it, but realizing that I need to do the inner ceiling first really makes this whole thing come together. And this feels like it's working. Next part here is just connected this small one, so we're gonna narrow down here quite a bit. And I like that. I like that it narrows down. It makes it a bit more fluid. And next part, coming up here, is just this whole big circle thing. And I'm not gonna lie, that is gonna be a bit of a project. I might start doing this one honestly, because it's the bigger project out of the two. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see about that one. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, this is going rather smoothly. I for sure thought I would have spent a lot longer than I have. Although... Editing me is dreading this replay mod file. It's, it's going to be big. It's gonna take a while. I think I've been recording the replay mod for probably two hours now. That's going to be fun. Anyways, that's the progress I can show for now. I will keep grinding and I will see you in a little bit.
after many, many hours, I can finally say that the project is finished. Halfway. Yes, it's thumbnail ready, but it's uh, it's lacking in certain areas. <laughs> but it definitely isn't lacking in others. Let me have a look inside here. Look at this. I think this cave really came together well once I put the ceiling on. And for those who watched every single episode, you know that this is the hole I went down in the very first episode. I had my first real death loop in there. And therefore, I felt it was only fair that I keep this cave and keep this whole ravine. And what better way to keep it than to give it a new beautiful roof. And we also now have this cave. This cave is going to need a lot more work, but it does lead into the bigger cave network. I am going to decorate this cave at some point, but that's a little bit of a bigger project and I'm not going to tackle it right now. There's really no need for it. And I got other projects that I want to get to, which is why we did the roof. Whoop! Uh. It's not very pretty from the top side though, I gotta say, but it will do. The next part of this project, we are going to flatten out this whole thing and then we make the terraforming. It will be way easier that way. And we need to delete this forest, which I might do on stream. And we also have this forest and all of this will need to go. And on Tuesday, the day after this episode comes out, I will be live on Twitch and I will be manually deleting this forest. All the way down to the birches down there. Almost down to the spawn. Because we're gonna need some space. And if this forest deletes itself really fast, we might be able to do some other stuff as well. What we'll do? Well, better tune into the live stream to find out, huh? This live stream will be Tuesday, the 27th of February at 6 o'clock in the evening, Central European time. And I hope to see a lot of you there. But let's once again check out this beautiful, beautiful cave that we just made. And I think, actually, that this is gonna have to mark the end of this episode. Because I am frankly running out of time. But before you go, I would like to say thank you so, so much for watching. And if you like this video, you can leave a like and a comment in the comment section down below. And you can always subscribe to the channel so you see when new videos pop up, which I try to do weekly on Mondays. I'll tell you if the schedule changes, but Monday releases is what I'm going for. If you want to join our small little community, you're more than welcome to. You, you can join my Discord server. An invite link will be in the description down below in this video. I will also link my Twitch if you're interested in watching the live stream I will do on Tuesday. Tomorrow on Tuesday, if you're watching this today, it comes out. I think those are the things. Yeah, those are the things. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you have a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next episode or the live stream. Hmm? Until then, bye!